people are always looking for a great plexi they're very hard to come across they're inconsistent and especially in a sim format it hasn't been captured really but lately there have been some two three dimensionally captured meaning um, they got basically the tone and now the Howard Benson sim great for production it's always consistent so I matched other sims to it as exposing their voice and exposing their limitations, basically. Surprisingly enough, the Howard Benson Sim have pushed the Kawasas to sound beautiful. And only two Sims did not need to be EQ matched, and they in fact nulled. So in any case, through this, I'll explain the signal chain, and then from there, I'll show the top 10, 20, all of them, and then again, I'll show you how EQ matched them, so you could do it yourself, download the, the channel strip, the Howard Benson channel strip basically looks like this. This is the preset. I'm using the preset that it came with, basically. And that's what you hear when you hear this. No funny stuff. So... There are no pedals on and this is the setup i did a lot of like eq matching between amps i haven't found anything as close as the howard benson so then i matched everything to the howard benson and they all sound fuller for example the kawasa amp which is here it, it's eq to this howard benson trap <laughs> And it's the same with the Kawasa Cream. So you got the Caliburn Cream. Kawasa has a nice plexi sound. I like it. I like it's more than my favorite. It just doesn't have the balls that the Howard Benson does. Now it's interesting because every single sim after this has been EQ matched to the Howard Benson sim. I will show you how I did it. You can try it yourself with your own. You, you, you tell me in the comments below what you think of it. It's very important you understand this. Only two have been able to deliver the same kind of sustain on their own without having to be EQ'd. And when they're EQ'd, it's, it's almost like they're nulling back and forth with the Howard Benson. Like they are the Neuro DSP Mesa Boogie. The other one is the GST Tone 4 Disruptor. Both of these have a crunch sound. The Mesa Boogie, if you want to have a boogie in Europe, you're not going to find a physical boogie. So you, you better grab this sim. But let me show you how I match. Let's say I'm going to match the Cali burn. So let me show you without the Pro EQ, it sounds pretty good. It's a really good amp. The 
turn on, Pro EQ, it sounds like this. If you don't have the Pro Q3 and you have like Logic, you turn on what they call Match EQ. Your reference file, the file you want to match that source to, you can drag an MP3 onto this. Like for example, the guitar you heard before with Howard Benson, I bounced it and then I dragged it in here. That's all I did. I dragged also other amps. You try them all, it's fun. You can, you can do it with vocals, you can do it with everything. And then what you do is you match. You can make it smoother or more brittle. So if you listen to this now. So you see, it, 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 it can be more brittle here, more smoother here, and more could also adjust things all over the place. And that is the way this is set up. Now for the Pro EQ, it works a little differently. You have to go to the track, for example. You capture it as well, but you don't capture it as an MP3 when you capture it with the Pro EQ. And this is how it's done. Input it, match EQ, and record it basically. Make sure you see it moving around and then say save it as an input spectrum. Benson. Okay. So capital. Okay, so I call it Howard Benson. Now what will happen is I'll go to another amp that I want it to sound like the Howard Benson. I opened up my I opened up my EQ now. Uh, when I match EQ this guitar, I hit EQ match. Now it's telling me to choose a reference, go to the, the one you made, Howard Benson, and now it should sound like it. All right, so I got my... So it sounds just like it. And that's what you're hearing when you're hearing the Caliburn, the Cream, the Mercurial, all these sims except for Mesa Boogie and Destruction. But in any case, that's how you EQ match. The MP3 dragging it on there is very, very simple. I, I, I should show it again. When you drag the MP3 on here, this is what it looks like. Or an AIF file, and you drag it there. And now you're gonna match this guitar. And in addition to max, we have the, uh, the option also to add the uh, Tone Forge DI match and this now. So I'm gonna match my guitar now to this. After that's matched, I'm going to go in and I'm going to get this. There you go. Make it a little more. Okay.
out how well the Howard Benson does. Basically, I can borrow all of the sustain and balls from the Howard Benson sim and push the tones of the other amp. I honestly never heard anyone else who got this crunch out of the Cali Burn, Ibri Kawasa. And the same with the Mercurial, a very solid, all the other sims, they all sound kind of like similar. They it's just like they, they clip. It's too one dimensional. You need to be able to like hear a speaker to enjoy it which is what Howard Benson's done. The problem I have with the Howard Benson sim is that they changed the speaker layout, the IR layout. It used to be a, a, a layout where you had the option of choosing the actual speakers and their size. And you could have, you could, I caught it just in time, you know? And I realized that a lot of the uh, cooler tones from Kawasa also came from 10 inch and eight inch speakers. And you were able to see which speakers him and Mike had basically used to simulate this. Uh, I contacted STL Tones about it, asking them why they removed it and if they can put it back or is there a, can I use an older copy in it and they will not cooperate. I don't know, I don't know if that's, I don't like that. I mean, but whatever, that's the way they want to work. But basically there were speakers here and now you only have this, okay? And it's not, uh, you can add the same functions, okay? It's just like, like that. Um, what I would hope in the future is that uh, Howard and, and Mike update it. Maybe with Tone Forge, you know? For this crunch test, Howard Benson won hands down. Okay, so I had a few more minutes at the end of this video, as usual, showing off my electroformed rings. Me and my wife make jewelry. She has a feminine line, of course, and I have a masculine line, well, or an androgynous line. In any case, feel free to visit my Instagram, and uh, I'll leave you with uh, some visuals. Maybe it's relaxing for you all.